hi guys lens here so in this video we have this is a laptop and you can actually see you can see the mother number right here and what we're going to actually do with this laptop we are going to remove the battery so this video can be a battery replacement for this laptop we are going to take this apart and to do so we need to remove all the screws in the back cover so you want to get your screwdriver We are just going to look and ensure that all the screws are out. We are going to take the back cover off. For us to do so, you need to look for this partition right here. We are going to take this off. Just want you to bear in mind that we have ribbons for the keyboard and also the mouse so we need to be careful in removing we are almost out So you need to remove all those clips by the side and we are actually out and as I said we have few ribbons here so for us to remove these ribbons we need to remove the lid so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about we need to remove the the end here the two ends we need to remove the two ends for the ribbon for the keyboard just need to push them back as we push them back we can remove the ribbon so we just pull out the ribbon we also have the one for the mouse we just need to flip the lid at the beginning this white thing here just raise this up and then we can remove the ribbon and we are out so basically if you can see here this is the battery in which we are going to remove guys if you can remove this battery without Taking out the motherboard, you can do so. The connections for the battery is right here. So this is the connection for the battery right here. Right? And this is the connection for the battery. And we just need to remove this. One of the tests in which we are going to do, we have the laptop plugged up. And we are going to turn on the laptop to see if it will actually function and work without the battery. And we definitely have to shut down the laptop because we don't have any keyboard or mouse hooked up to the laptop at the moment. We're just doing a quick test to ensure that everything is functional. So guys, for us to remove the battery, we need to lift this up. There are some clips that are holding down the battery, I just realized. So you need to release the clips by the different side. And let me look underneath, see if there's any adhesive under there. There are some clips that are holding the battery. So definitely, we just remove the laptop battery. And we are going to put back on the panel 
and just as how we remove these ribbons we need to put them back we need to plug them in and make sure that they're in properly and we lock them we lock the ribbon tight it's just the reversal of what we did so guys everything is shut tight we are just going to put back in dvd drive and we can just slide this right in then we are just going to clip down the, the edges around they should clip and fit right in actually before we put back in the screws right we are doing a battery replacement but we haven't received the batteries yet but i'm actually doing this tutorial to help those of you out so after I put back in the screws, I'm going to test to ensure the keyboard, the mouse is working and everything is functional. Guys, we revised the keyboard and it is actually working and everything. So we are good. So it's basically good to make your checks before you actually put back in the screws. So to conclude this video, guys, I hope that this was helpful to you guys in replacing your battery for your Acer laptop. This is Aspire E15 Start, right? There's also another model number there as well. So I'll list all of that in the video description.